During this pandemic, we all have started checking oxygen level in our blood. Today we're going to tell you all you need to know about it and the ways you can get more of this gas. 90% of our energy comes from oxygen. Our respiratory system delivers air from outside to our lungs and promotes gas exchange both in the lungs and inside cells. The cells need oxygen to be able to break the chemical bonds of food molecules such as sugars, carbohydrates and proteins in order to release the energy they contain. The delivery of oxygen to our cells and muscles enables us to exercise and lead a normal life. The level of oxygen in a person's bloodstream can be measured by a pulse oximeter. It allows you to estimate how much oxygen your blood is carrying compared to its maximum capacity. It's very easy to use this device. Just remember, it's not very accurate. There's an error window of 2% with it. The optimal blood oxygen level is important. Breathing through the lungs provides our cells with oxygen, makes our brains work, and a continuous heartbeat provides oxygen to the tissues. Oxygen levels can vary greatly from person to person and depend on environmental factors. Normal SpO2 levels are between 94 and 99%. People with lung disease usually have lower SpO2 levels than normal. SpO2 below 90% is very dangerous and can cause stress on the heart, lungs and liver. There are several ways to train your body to get more oxygen. Breathe more fresh air, drink water, eat iron-rich foods, do physical and breathing exercises. As you can see, proper blood oxygen level is very important. Don't ignore it and take care of your health.